Florida Musa for sale. Not tissue culture. 950 or best offer. Lately, I've been seeing a lot of listings for plants for sale that specify whether or not a plant is from tissue culture, with the implication that a plant not from tissue culture is somehow better. For example, this person posted that they just got a philodendron spiritus sancti. Someone in the comments asked where the plant is from, to which the original poster replies, I got mine from red leaf. I didn't want a TC one and opted into a seed grown one instead. Someone chimes in to ask why the original poster didn't want a plant from tissue culture and he replies, I've noticed tissue culture produces weaker plants. They usually have a different leaf shape and deformation since they're mass produced and I didn't want to opt into a clone of a plant but rather one that was produced via cutting or seed. I absolutely love how this person doesn't want a clone but is open to a cutting which is also a clone of the plant that it is taken from. To each his own, but I'm just not fond of that mass scale production. They are less viable and weaker in my opinion. There's nothing weaker or less viable about plants that come from tissue culture versus a plant that was taken from a cutting. Plants grown in vitro are genetically identical to the plant that was used to provide a tissue sample for the micropropagation. Tissue culture plants do take a decently long time to acclimate when you take them out of tissue culture, so sometimes it can seem like they're growing really, really slow, but really they just have to acclimate to growing in a new environment. Now, I don't have have the original post associated with the next comments, but I had to include it. Personally, if it doesn't have the lineage from the original plant and it is tissue culture, it doesn't have any value to me. Someone replied, such an odd mentality. This person continues to double down saying, mass produced and typically not of the same quality, I will stick to my cuttings from the sources themselves versus the glass grown, sterile, mass produced junk. If you put a mature plant that was grown in vitro next to a mature plant that was taken from the wild, you will not be able to spot the difference. They're the same photo. To the point about tissue culture plants being sterile, I see this all the time and it's not true. I did see a pretty big plant influencer replying to someone in her comments recently saying that most tissue culture tends to be sterile. I see this all the time. It's not just the one specific influencer. I've seen many, many posts. I'll put up some screenshots of different posts that I've seen people saying this in. I do have a theory about where this rumor came from. I think that maybe using the word sterile to describe the process of creating tissue culture plants has made people connect the dots into thinking that tissue culture plants are sterile, which they are not. Plants that are sterile are not able to sexually reproduce, but growing a plant from tissue culture does not mean that it will inherently be sterile or self-sterile. This next person is looking for some advice about their plant's growth pattern. I'm not great at identifying philodendrons, but I think this looks to be maybe a philodendron white knight or maybe a white princess. Someone in the comments wrote, tissue culture strikes again. And someone else asks, can you explain to me exactly what TC is? I've heard it often and seen many philodendrons TC for sale, but have been warned to stay away from them. Someone replies, TC is another form of propagation, which is mostly done by companies to mass produce food crops or hobby plants. They use plant cells, leaves, stems to clone new plants. In my opinion, TC plants have their genes diluted, which in turn weakens the plant in quality and health. He was so, so close. Genetics cannot be diluted. That makes no sense. What are some of the downsides of tissue culture philodendrons? Downsides. Decreases scarcity rarity of a plant. Let me put my Bindi Irwin hat on for a second. One of the reasons that I'm so passionate about tissue culture is because it reduces instances of plant poaching or taking plants out of the wild and selling them. Plant poaching leads to a loss of biodiversity, which can be really horrible for ecosystems. Plant poaching is sort of the same as buying wild caught fish in the fish keeping hobby or buying wild caught reptiles in the reptile keeping hobby. I'm sure there's a word for it. So we should all be buying more tissue culture plants. There is no reason to be scared of them. I think that's it. If you want more tissue culture content, I am also on Instagram. And if you want to try tissue culture for the first time, I do have a referral code with a company called Plant Cell Technology. They sell all sorts of supplies that you would need to get started with tissue culture. And my code with them is plants in jars for 10% off your order. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Bye guys.